Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Health for All. I am Dr. Orijit Banerjee and today in this video we will discuss on cerebrovascular disease including brain stroke. In India, approximately 1.8 million people are affected from stroke and globally more than 3 million people are affected by this disease and the disease claims a life in every 6 seconds. In this video, we will know what is a brain stroke or cerebrovascular accident or CVA, causes and types of brain stroke, acute and sudden symptoms especially when the patient is at home, what is transient ischemic attack or TIA stroke or mild stroke and finally acute stroke management at home and treatment or recovery options. So stay tuned with me to know more and subscribe the channel if you haven't already to get the latest scientific medical videos. And uh, one more thing, if you want to help others be a member of this channel by clicking the join button below. Few parts of this video may be bit technical but I request to watch the video without skipping and it will definitely help you during medical emergencies to save life of your near and dear ones. First we will know what is cerebrovascular disease. The word cerebrovascular is made of two parts, cerebro which refers to the large part of the brain and vascular which means arteries and veins. Together the word cerebrovascular refers to blood flow in the brain. So a cerebrovascular disease is a group of conditions and disorders that causes restrictions or stop in blood flow to the blood vessels and blood supply of the brain. This disease includes stroke, transient ischemic attack or TIA, aneurysm, intracranial stenosis, vascular malformation etc etc. Now this alteration of blood flow sometimes causes the death of brain cells or functions either temporary or a permanent basis. When such an event occurs suddenly it referred as a cerebrovascular accident or CVA. As it occurs suddenly we call it an accident. So what is a CVA or brain stroke? We can understand that a brain stroke occurs when the blood supply to some part of your brain is interrupted or reduced preventing brain tissue from getting oxygen and nutrition. Thus brain cells begins to die in minutes causing a medical emergency which needs immediate management otherwise it might cause brain damage or even death. There are two main causes of stroke, a blocked artery, ischemic stroke or leaking or bursting of blood vessels called hemorrhagic stroke. Some people may have only a temporary interruptions of blood flow to the brain known as transient ischemic attack or TIA or mild stroke. Let's go further. What is ischemic stroke? Among all the stroke cases, 87% are ischemic strokes. This occur when a blood clot breaks off from elsewhere in the body and travels to the brain to block small arteries of the brain, causing lack of blood supply, results in death of brain cells. This is commonly called embolism. People who have uncontrolled high blood pressure or high cholesterol, coronary artery disease, diabetes for a prolonged period of time or having a sickle cell disease are more prone towards developing ischemic brain stroke. So control of these underlying disease factors are essential. If you don't know how to control your high BP as per the latest research study 2021 or what foods will help you to reduce your cholesterol level recommended by the global researchers, you can watch those videos which I have given in the i button and also in description. Next is hemorrhagic stroke. A hemorrhagic stroke happens when an artery in the brain leaks blood or ruptures that is breaks open. The leaked blood puts too much pressure to the 
brain cell which damage them and as the arteries are also ruptured again won't allow the blood to flow in the brain intracerebral hemorrhage is the most common type of hemorrhagic stroke it occurs when an artery in the brain bursts flooding the surrounding tissue with blood inside the brain where subarachnoid hemorrhage is a less common type of hemorrhagic stroke we have seen just like before people with high bp and high triglyceride levels are more prone to develop this kind of incidence the next is transient ischemic attack or TIA also called as in common term mild stroke a transient ischemic attack or TIA is sometimes called as mild stroke or mini stroke it is different from the major types of stroke because blood flow to the brain is blocked for only a short period of time usually not more than 5 minutes generally in TIA a small blood clot temporarily blocks and then goes away most tias last from 30 to 60 minutes and generally recovery occurs within 24 hours without any irreversible damage to the brain or causing disability but it is important to remember that a tia is a warning sign for further stroke or any future stroke there is no way to know in the beginning whether the symptoms are from tia or from a major type of stroke and statistically 10% to 15% of all people will have a major stroke within 3 months of a tia or mild stroke During a stroke every minute counts so knowing proper sign and symptoms and fast treatment can prevent the brain damage that stroke can causes signs and symptoms includes number 1 trouble speaking and understanding what others are saying like what the thing like talk like this that means slurred voice number 2 sudden numbness or weakness of the face arm or leg especially one side of the body also one side of the mouth may droop when the patient tries to smile number 3 sudden trouble seeing in one or by both eyes number 4 a sudden severe headache with dizziness number 5 unable to walk or impaired balance and number 6 difficulty in swallowing or dysphagia call your nearest hospital right away if you or someone else has any of these symptoms again acting fast can help stroke patients to get treatments they desperately need the stroke treatment that work best are available if the stroke is recognized and diagnosis happen within 3 hours of the first symptom this first 3 hours are called golden hours of acute stroke management fast fast is an acronym to check a stroke patient which you can do it in your home f is equal to face ask the person to smile does one side of the face drop a stand for arm ask the person to raise both arm and check does one arm drift downwards s is equal to speech ask the person to repeat a simple phrase and check if the speech is slurred or anything strange and t is equal to time If answer is yes to any of the above it is the time to call the hospital immediately or else the patient may develop paralysis or may even die Few things to remember note the time when the symptoms first appear this information helps your doctor to determine the best treatment number 2 do not let the person to go sleep or talk Number 3 do not give any food or drinks at home to the patient. Number 4 if the patient is unconscious check their pulse and breathing. If you find none start CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Number 5 the most important you should also be aware that warning signs might last only for a few minutes. before they disappear this brief episodes are transient ischemic attacks or tia or mini strokes they still should be taken seriously because they tend to be the signs of any underlying serious conditions in the hospital your doctor may ask for a few tests like ct scan mri cerebral angiogram carotid ultrasound and few blood tests to find the cause for future treatment so the moral is 
don't panic act fast that's all for today if you find this video helpful like the video subscribe to my channel and share this information you can also join as a member of this channel to help others take care